going to shift some gears into a different gear right now, moving towards transportation. And uh, with us up next, we have Christian Sandoval with Earnabike. Uh, he's the founder of the San Antonio Earnabike Co-op and promotes active and healthy living by increasing access to bicycles, promoting safe, bike-friendly environments, and empowering people with the knowledge to make a lifestyle out of cycling. And so with that, I'd like to have Christian come up. Thank you. Thank you, Doug. Thank you. Well, good afternoon. I'd like to start with the elephant in the room. Two-thirds of Americans are either overweight or, or obese. Let's just start with that. Big item there, right? Well, many of the reasons that you could say that this is happening is you could blame it on sugary drinks, you could blame it on doctors not taking nutrition classes, enough nutrition classes to guide us, and the information not being out there. And that could be very true. But the truth is that technology is allowing us to do less. So how many of you all remember going to the Blockbuster, getting in the car, and yeah, there you go, and getting out there and walking the halls and picking out the movie? The, oh, that there was 250 calories. Let me take it all the way to the extremes because this is a, fa a rapid fire. How many of you all parents recall actually walking upstairs to call your kids for dinner? Can you come down for dinner, please? Right? So technology, instead of guiding us into doing more with less, it's actually taking us to do less. And what's happening is that, well, we're thinking out here, well, this is actually really cool, and like, 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 and heart, 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 because at the end of the day, that means we're less on the road, we don't have to visit our friends, you know, we don't need to use our cars anymore, and our, we're lowering our carbon footprint. But what we don't tend to kind of put in a balance is that at the end of the day, being overweight or obese by one pound costs an American $20 per year. Increasing um, our chances to get heart disease, cancer, stroke, and diabetes. And, and these are the most preventable costly and uh, uh, chronic diseases, costing us $792 billion a year. So truly, what is the challenge? Is it about creating more sustainable uh, products in houses and living environments? Yes, definitely yes. Don't take it that I'm going against it. But what we cannot uh, forget is that actually those places are created for people. But people are not sustainable. And they're not sustainable because it's not that I hate technology, but what's happening is that right now we're learning how to use technology. And, and we're still not there. And I love technology, and I got my Apple Watch in here, you know, put the kids to bed and all that stuff, and my daughter's going like this all the day in, in her hoverboard. But at the end of the day, we're, we still don't know how to use it. And while we get there, we're getting overweight, and we're getting to this point of no return. So this is where Earn a Bike comes along. It says, well, what do you, what are, what do, you do, Christian? Well, what do we do? And what's our savior? Now, we believe that it's very simple. It's all about a bike. That same bike that we have in the garage that we haven't used and the same little thing that used to give us freedom before we had Facebook, you know, it's getting out there and pedaling because at the end of the day, what a bike allows you to do is just to get out there and feel things again. Feel the sun, feel the wind, you know, make you smile, connect with others, move your legs and just be out there. And that's the beautiful thing about bicycles, that it doesn't take much. Because honestly, I don't have anything against a $50 Walmart bike. It still gets you out there. It still gets you moving. So Earn a Bike is going to take this to the next level. So we know that we have been creating an impact in our communities. But now we're going to take it to San Antonio. And today you're hearing a really cool collaboration in this space between ArtPace the Department of Office of Sustainability and Earn a Bike, which we call Art Bike SA. And December 1st, we're going to reveal what that means. But start thinking about creativity, health, and sustainable living places. Think how art, health, and sustainability can come together. And with that, I leave you hoping for 12-1, where you're going to learn about Art Bike SA.